Hi, this is Bill Dickerson. Welcome to another fascinating episode of LVI TV, where our goal is to make you a better dentist, and if you're a patient, to make you a better consumer. The golden proportion, or 1 to 1.618, it's also called phi. The principles of the golden proportion have been around for centuries, with the ancient Greeks using it for many of their arts, science, and architecture. Starting with Pythagoras in about 550 BC, they discovered that the golden proportion was present in nature and could be used to create ideal symmetry in sculptures and architecture. In history, structures like the Parthenon, the Pyramids, Notre Dame, and so many others were built with the golden proportion in mind. In 1509, possibly the greatest human being ever, Leonardo da Vinci, was obsessed with it and in 1509 published the Divine Proportion. He created the Vitruvian Man after Marcus Vitruvius, the Roman architect who built all the structures based on the golden proportion. His discovery is that humans are in a significant part based on the golden proportion. We know that seashells, plants, leaves, animal markings, insects, and even the solar system and the universe have a connection to the golden proportion. So why not our smiles? At LVI, in our Core 1 course, the Physiologic Approach to Dentistry, we teach the foundations of the smile based on the golden proportion and its many components. It's too time consuming to do that in such a short video, so you'll just have to take our word for the science behind this discovery. Not only the size of the teeth, but the vertical position of the bite can be determined by the golden proportion. This missing link of dentistry was discovered by me about a decade ago, and I called this the LVI golden vertical. If applied, the teeth will appear symmetrical and aesthetic. One of the problems is that we have been seeing worn down, stubby teeth for so long that prevalence has become normal. And it's not. Prevalence is just means it's prevalent. Not that it's normal or correct. Obviously, there are exceptions to using the LVI golden vertical as a guide, particularly when there is a skeletal deformity like an anterior open bite. But for the masses, it's an ideal way to determine the length of the centrals and the vertical that the bite should be developed to regardless if done orthodontically or restoratively. Assuming that all other dimensions of the bite are correct, the horizontal, the anterior posterior, the yaw, decompression, torque, etc., then at this vertical, the muscles will be comfortable and the pain elimination due to the muscles, or what we call TMD, will be eliminated. So if you're a dentist and you don't know about the principles of the golden proportion in developing a smile, please come to LVI and find out its importance and how to develop that perfect smile. If you're a patient and you're considering having aesthetic dentistry like veneers or full mouth reconstruction, ask your dentist if he or she understands the principles of the historic golden proportion when determining the end results of the smile. If not, you may want to seek one out that does to ensure the science behind developing that perfect smile. This is Bill Dickerson. Thanks again for tuning in to LVI TV, and don't forget to watch all the episodes if you haven't. There is valuable information in every one of them. See you next time on LVI TV. You're definitely learning something new, a little bit more, a little bit more every time you come out here, but it's always being... And once the cat was out of the bag, he actually fired her. You're fired. A little further south, a an enterprising time. woman with what my medical doctor thought was chronic sinusitis 